Hey, um, Sagittarius, this is Psychic Medium Tammy, and I'm going to shuffle here and pull a few cards for the next few days for my Sagittarius audience. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and your likes and your views and all your subscriptions. Um, thanks very much. Appreciate you supporting my channel. Okay, so first card up is we have got... <clears throat> We've got the Eight of Cups here, and interesting, there's a Border Collie on this because I have Border Collies and I love them. Um, so this is definitely vibing with Sagittarius this morning. You are kind of feeling like you want to do something different, like you're ready to go on out there on the horizon and um, leave some stuff behind. You're ready to do something new. You're going to leave the old behind and you're ready to forge ahead. You know, I feel this really strongly, like you're tired of doing the same old thing and you're just worn out with the same old thing and you really want to do something new. So let's see what's coming up next for you Sagittarius today. It's cold here today <laughs> in the mountains. I've got my scarf on. I've been <laughs> trying to stay warm all morning. Hope you guys are staying warm where you are. So let's see what else is coming up here. Oh, wow, okay. So, this guy, this is having to do with somebody attacking your reputation. There seems to be a lot of that going around this week for um, a lot of people, unfortunately. This is showing up for Sagittarius um, in the conflict position. So somebody's kind of talking about you behind your back. Somebody might uh, cause some problems for you. Somebody's jealous of what you're doing with your life. This. Um, effort to move forward, to take a new path, to leave something or somebody or some situation behind. It's it's making them mad. They don't like it. Um, they're going to attack you about it. And this may be attacking you to your face, or it may be attacking you on the internet. Um, it may be attacking you just from gossiping. So I'd watch out for psychic attacks, which reminds me, I'm going to be um, updating how to clear psychic attacks later. I did that video last week and I, I want to get back to that and give you some ways to clear that. Okay, so the next card coming up in your future, this is the Emperor card and the Emperor card is um, pretty awesome. Okay, so this has to do with um, one aspect of you being very much in control of your life. So never mind that naysayer that came up um, in this other card. This is having to do with you doing some real solid things on the material world, uh, creating money, creating potentially houses. You may be building a house. You may be buying a house. You may be moving into a new house. Um, this isn't really indicating moving as much as it is creating though. So I want to say you're creating more money with this new path, this leaving things behind that I saw earlier. So this could also be a man coming into your life who is the emperor. And again, he may be somebody who is into real estate of some sort or creating solid foundations. And he's very smart, um, very good character. Let's see where this goes for you, Sagittarius, okay? Let's see what else comes up. You know, I'm using my dog cards today <laughs> and I thought that would be fun. I love these cards and... Um, Okay, so let's see. The next card coming up here is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is having to do with potentially you moving, you going into um, a new space, things being really up in the air, a lot of passion, as you can see from all the fire um, shown in this card. Um, this, is, this is a really exciting card for you, Sagittarius. And it always makes me think of, you know, potentially there's somebody coming from um a faraway place to see you this could be new love this could be your emperor shown in that previous card who's going to be coming in um from somewhere from afar this could be you moving this could be a lot of things up in the air for you where you're just wanting to create something completely new because again i see you wanting to leave a lot of old stuff behind situations people relationships jobs all sorts of things this is your new card moving into something new. And a lot of this reading has been about that. Now, people won't like that. <laughs> I see, again, there's that person there or people trying to block you from that and attacking you over it. But Sagittarius won't listen to that, so whatever. Let me pull one more overview card for you for the next couple of days, Sag. Okay. 
One more shuffle, they're saying. Oh, let's see how that. Okay. All right, so the last card coming up here is, um, I can't see it, the, um, it's the Ten of Swords. Okay, so, no, I'm sorry, it's not the Ten of Swords. It's the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this is the Worry card. Sorry, it's hard to see it. It's sort of dark down here. Um, the Ten of Swords, and it's having to do with worrying about things, nightmares, um, trying to, we got another Border Collie here, <laughs> which is cool. So this is really having to do with you worrying about this. You might be having nightmares about these changes and everything being, you know, being up in the air and feeling up in the air. But this is just um, an anxiety card, basically. It's not having to do with something solid that's coming in. It's having to do more with your worries. So knowing that I think will help just knowing that really good stuff is coming in so again um these are the cards that came up and these are really good cards you know this is leaving some old stuff behind and uh the mean guy whoever he is person could be a woman you know attacking you could be a chihuahua <laughs> I don't think it's actually I hope not um, your emperor and the knight of wands which I think is the most important card in this reading knowing that there's um, a lot of things up in the air, a lot of excitement, a lot of things moving forward. This is a real movement card. Passion, passion coming in, and potentially somebody um, from afar coming in who influences this. So wouldn't worry too much about this one. So um, anyway, it all looks good, Sagittarius. Thanks for tuning in again, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks. Have a good day.